All right, what's up, guys? The reason the camera's shaking a little bit is because I'm actually on my bicycle. I'm riding to the minnow trap to check the minnow trap we set in the last video. We should go check that out. It's right here. But yeah, Kyle is with us. He's over there. Shouldn't be with us. I told him not to come. He came anyway. Oh, well. But uh, what can you do? I'm going to go check the minnow trap, and then I'll get back with y'all. I'm actually out of breath. I haven't even rode that far. And uh, yes, as you can hear, there's a train coming, so like I should probably move. So yeah, I'll we'll catch you there. Alright guys, now I'm super out of breath. Jeez, that was a longer ride than I thought. But we're finally at the creek. And uh, you may hear some cows, there's cows over there. There's a cow farm. You're gonna find cows outside. But, um, yeah, gonna go down to the creek, check the minnow trap real quick. Kyle just ran in the woods after something, there's no telling. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down there, check the minnow trap, and then let's go see what's in. Alright guys, so we're down here at the creek. I'm trying to be as loud because I don't want to disturb their wildlife. There's tons of deer and squirrels and everything around but uh yeah we're down here at the creek y'all might notice this is the same uh behind me this is the same spot i was fishing last video when i came to set this minnow trap but i don't know if y'all can see that or not behind me that's actually the rope we tied off that's a good sign that means it didn't wash down the creek and good thing we did tie it off because the creek is up a little bit so not even sure why because it really didn't rain but uh yeah the creek's up now i'm gonna grab this minnow trap pull it up and let's actually see what we got i'm expecting some small bluegill, maybe some, you have to excuse me, I'm still out of breath. Maybe some small bluegill, fathead minnows, and maybe if we get lucky, there might be a crawfish or two in there. So let's go check, see what we got. All right, here we go, we're pulling up the trap. Bro, you gotta be joking me. We didn't get near as many as I thought. Good news is I do see a craw two crawfish in there. So let's see, let's open this bad boy up. Let's see. Jeez, can't even open it. All right, there we go. So it looks like we got, let me take this over. Here's a key tip whenever you are unloading the middle trap. Shake it on one end so everything falls down there. So we got one minnow, it looks like, which is kind of weird because normally we get more than that. One minnow and then three crawfish. I was expecting more minnows and less crawfish, but we actually have more crawfish than I was expecting. Oh, four crawfish. Jeez. Get him. Get him. All right. Let's check out this minnow. Nice little fathead minnow right there. Throw him back. And then I think this is the biggest crawfish. Look at this dude. Big crawfish. Get him back before he pinches me. Got this crawfish. Look at this dude. And this is the one that was uh, feisty. Trying to fight the other one. Let me get him back in there too. And then we got two more. This one was about the same size as the last one. He actually doesn't seem as mean. This dude's pretty nice. Too bad. We're just throwing him back, though. There he goes. This is actually the smallest crawfish we got. He also doesn't seem very mean. Look at him. My name is Jeff. All right, let's throw this dude back. All right, guys, just unloaded the trap here, and I don't know if y'all can see this, but look. That's literally a crawfish pincher. Let me get it out so y'all. Jeez, it's stuck in the... In the middle trap, I don't really want to separate it. I'm trying to show y'all. Let's see if I focus. Yep. Got it out. Look at this, guys. That's legit a crawfish pincer stuck in the middle trap. That's wild. I'm just going to throw it back in there. Maybe something will eat it. There it goes. So, yeah, guys, we actually got four crawfish and one minnow. That's wild, guys. I actually didn't expect to catch that many uh, crawfish. And uh, I expect a lot more minnows as well. So, Maybe this hole is better for crawfish. In my original minnow hole that I trapped a lot last year, you can go check out all my videos. I have a few videos over there. Maybe that one's better for actual minnows. So I'm for sure going to be trapping the next minnow hole next to my minnow trap uh, if I'm going for minnows. But if I'm going for crawfish, now we know they're all loaded in this hole. So uh, yeah, this is going to be just going to wrap up today's video. It's kind of a short video, but I just wanted to show you all me check, checking the minnow trap. First check of the year, actually. So that's always good. Um, yeah. In the middle trap checked so that's the last thing on my list to do today so i'll catch y'all in the next video